Hi guys, this is Don. I had a student ask me a question about this uh, homework problem and um, we want to try to solve it using StatCrunch. And uh, StatCrunch, uh, we'll do this pretty quickly. When you read the problem, it says that you're given this data, 10 uh, pairs of data here, um, the hours that a student studies, and their test scores. The predictor var variable X is the hours they study, and the response variable is Y, the test score. And we want to know, is there enough evidence to conclude there is a significant linear correlation between the data? Use alpha of 0.05. Now, we can do this a couple of ways to answer this question. Um, just to answer the basic question that they're given there, you can just calculate the correlation coefficient and manually go into your textbook's table, I think it's table 11, and uh, find the value for those number of pairs, 10, and then take the absolute value of the correlation coefficient. And if it's greater than the value in that table, then that correlation coefficient row is um, significant. Another way of doing it, we're going to do it stat crunch. I'm going to click open in stat crunch. Here's our data. And we're going to go to summary stats, correlation, first of all, just to answer their basic question, if that's all they wanted to uh, you to do. Click on two-sided p-value, again, because we're looking at a, um, a, a two-sided test when you're testing the uh, slope or the uh, correlation. And uh, we're just going to click on Compute, and we get an answer here. We get our correlation coefficient, 0.963, and we get a, a significance value of less than 0 0.0001, means it's, it's uh, very significant. And 0 0.0001 is uh, less than our alpha of 0 0.05. So we would reject the null that there is not a significant correlation and say that, yes, there is a significant correlation. However, on this problem, besides um, determining whether or not we have a significant correlation, they want us to run an hypothesis test on this, and which we just did using uh, that function in, in StatCrunch. But we've got to come up with the critical values, the t values, and the t test statistic, which is the test statistic for the slope um, of the equation that you get from regression. So what we're going to do is use StatCrunch to run a regression on this data, and then we'll have the information we need to answer this um, question. So I'm going to go here to Stat, Regression, Simple Linear, select my X variable, Hours, and Y variable, Test Score. I might just mention, uh, when I'm grading your work, I see way too many students mess up that selection right there and reverse the predictor variable or your factor x var variable with your y variable, your response variable. Make sure you look at the interface of the software you're working with because sometimes they'll ask for the y variable first. So just keep that in mind. We want to perform, perform these hypothesis tests so that bubble is checked. We're going to check both the intercept is not equal to zero, and the slope, and that's the correlation, is not equal to zero. So that's all we have to check here. I'm going to click on Compute, and we get this data. I'm going to expand that out so you can see everything here. We get an ANOVA that's done on uh, our data, and it just repeats there. It gives us the, the, the regression equation, y equal the uh, 36.29 for the intercept, plus 6.859 times the hours the student studied. Sample size of 10. There's our correlation coefficient again of 0.96. Our R square, remember, I guess we haven't gotten there yet if you're at 9.1, but we'll learn that the R square tells us what proportion of the response variables change 
the variation in that response variable is due to the predictor variable. In this case, 92 or 93 percent of the variation in the response variable, the grade, is due to how much the student studies. Okay, we have get the bottom part of the uh, regression model there and we'll be using it later on. It runs an F-test and it gets a p-value of 0 0.001 which tells us that we would reject the uh, nulls overall for the hypothesis test. But our question is specifically focused on correlation which is the slope and we need to get a t-test statistic uh, and in this case it shows that that test statistic is also uh, significant but we're going to check it against the rejection region in just a second here. And I might just point out the test statistic in this uh, report is nothing more than the estimate they give you for the slope divided by the standard error and that gives you this 10.169 which is I'm pretty sure yes that's the test statistic that they were looking for. Okay now we've got our test statistic we know that we reject the null but let's find our critical value. We go to stat calculators t and when we're doing this we need to know the degrees of freedom and that's the number of pairs minus 2 which would be 8. We're doing a two-tailed test always for regression and correlation so we need to take our alpha 0.05 divide that by 2 and that gives us the in this case the lower rejection value of minus 2.31 or 306 and again by by symmetry we would know that the upper rejection value is positive 2.306 and in our case the uh, test statistic there it is 10.169 is way out here and that would tell us that we're going to reject uh, they know that their, the uh, slope is not significant or the slope is zero. Uh, I would point out that you can get both values of your rejection if you change your thinking here. When we go to the between portion we're interested in this red value. Our alpha is 0.05 that gives us a, a confidence level of 0.95 and that would be the area in red and again we get our uh, two tails minus 2.306 plus 2.306. So you can do it either way using stat crunch.